Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Custom Recipes plugin. Now this is a really awesome plugin which allows you, as the name would suggest, to create custom recipes to get specific items in your Minecraft server. So this is the example item we have, so it's got a crazy unbreaking enchantment. It's got a custom lore, custom name, and that is the sort of stuff you can do with it. Now if we do forward slash C recipe, that is the command. We need to do the four slash C recipe give my name and then the name of the item. Now you'll notice when I do this, it doesn't actually work. It says recipe is not found. Now that is the correct name and it should find it. But the reason it doesn't work is because I am using spigot. So if you're using paper or spigot, you need to make an edit in the config file first before this will actually work. So here we are on the spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. And what we need to do is go to the update tab here and then click read more on this paper spigot support and then what we need to do is copy this code now the important thing for using items is to actually put the enum rather than the item id so if we go back to our server in the config file and then have a look in here you can see items are the number ids rather than written out so if you get rid of all of this up to the word item and then paste in the new one you will see that we have diamond pickaxe and then we have emerald and iron ingot hit save on that and once it is saved go back in game now we're back in game we can do c recipe reload and once we've done that we should be able to do the command and there we go it is working we have successfully got our cursed pickaxe and now we should be able to craft it using the recipe and there it is as if by magic so now we're going to go back into the config file and make our own custom item so here we are back in the s and control panel up at the top we've got a couple messages here but what we really want to go down to is the items and so the best way to do that is simply copy and paste an existing one and then we will get started so the first thing we want to do is change the name so the important thing with the name is this name matches the name that is going to be on the pick now you can use color codes here that is no problem that won't affect it and spaces as well but this and this must match now let's go ahead and change it to something random the item for this tutorial so let's just make it stone permission so you could obviously change this permission to whatever you wanted it to be um, or simply remove it completely if you didn't want that scroll down and stuff like the law you can easily change potions and enchantments if we scroll to the top there's a couple of links where you can find out the, that information so if we go to the enchantment one you can see there's a long list here and we could just pick a random one such as oxygen come over here and we are going to pop it in here just put a random amount 22 something crazy it's not very useful and then item crafting, we've got uh, three emeralds at the top and then two iron down. And then anywhere you see an X, that is going to be air. So what we can do is change it a little bit. So it's going to be three emeralds down. And then if we remove this, you can see that E is equal to emerald, like so. And then we can hit save. We can hop back in game and do C recipe reload and then C recipe give my name and then test. And that's going to give us a really weird uh, block that is enchanted. The enchantment has been hidden as we set in the config file. Um, it has a name and it has a law. Can't imagine this block is gonna be very useful for anything, but that is how you would make a custom recipe. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.